an all-star thank you to my tier 3 Patreon sponsors. We have Jeff, Diab Channel, Adam, Geek, Anthony, Kopi, Tiz, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Nyo, John, Terrence, Danwork, Edward, Kev Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious Royals, Party Marty, Punk Rick's Videos, Mina Shirakawa! Boobas, Benji, Dr. Enzik, Juggernaut Graphics, Polar Bear, and my four new ones, Shut Up Ingo, Dot Wave, Ash, McGee, Tombo, Underscore, and Boggle. Last time, Mina Shirakawa! Did a whole lot of Mina shit lately. First, she beat the Sheeta out of Unagi for not being there when she was the invisible woman. And Unagi left stardom forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Then, Mina formed a new club of English-speaking international women dubbed Club Venus, adding a new white girl dance to their routine. But Mina was still a part of Cosmic Angels, but didn't really seem to like it. And everyone knew the day would come when she nuked on out of there. Just like Tam Nakano once did to Mai Iwatani to form Cosmic Angels. Mina Shirakawa formed Club Venus as its own unit and took Waka with her. Now, Mina Shirakawa will avenge her loss to Saya Kamatani for the wondrous stardom belt where Saya Kamatani's unfortunate Phoenix Splash smashed the face of poor Shirakawa here. But Mina approached the deceiver, Saya Kamatani, the grand deceiver of the wondrous stardom. The one who usurped the white belt from the divine angel of cuteness. And the one who I'm holding responsible for all of this mess. It's like you have a perfect artifact held together by an angel. And then come and snatch it and distort all of reality. And then cry about it. But the golden phoenix has not been a phoenix in a while. And me not like... You, you ain't no phoenix girl. Where are you wings girl? I'm gonna kick your ass like you little green bitch. And Saya like, <laughs> and Mina like, I'm gonna take your heart away, yo. Your emotion, you left with this belt, yo. It's like mine. It's all mine. Like all my simps, I snatch your heart away. And Saya like, try me, bitch. Because Saya Kamatani has been living with PTSD far more than the actual recipient of the move. Will she regain her wings? We find out at all. All-Star Grand Queendom, Saya Kamatani, the wondrous stardom champion with the most defenses in the history of the White Belt versus Mina Shirakawa. She who has been on a character arc leading to this very moment. First, Mina Shirakawa debuted as the Gravure Idol wrestler, just like Yuzapan, a model turned wrestler. She wanted to prove everyone wrong. She joined Tom Nakano's Cosmic Angel as her number two and started her journey in stardom. Then, during Tam's white belt reign, Mina went insane and formed her inner personality hidden away called the Bloody Angel. This broken Mina Shirakawa grinding on Tam's face until they made up. Then, Mina went on a thirsty feud against Thekla that led to many comments on boobas and boobas and boobas. Then, Mina broke again and turned back to the Bloody Angel against Mirai but lost to her at the falling into the lava below. Then, Mina lost to Emeka after losing her mind again and wrapping a headband about the spirit of the boobas. Then, Mina Shirakawa lost in a water gun fight not once but twice. But the main callus happened when a certain cute fairy creature that goes Bye. suddenly joined Cosmic Angels in an act so dramatic. How can one say no to her joining? Mina had no choice but accepted Poi nonetheless. But it quickly became obvious how important the restored friendship of Tam and Knott's Poi meant when they formed Meltier and won the Goddess Championships. Mina was pushed aside and she knew it. Instead of letting it bother her, she pushed it deep, focusing instead on the five star to become a better wrestler with a different style. No more boob girl. Enter the Venus. Her efforts have been rewarded with a wonderful starter match against Kamatani, but unfortunately, Saya landed on her face. And now we're back here. Mina, with time to heal, had clarity. She became the leader of a new unit, and now the Venus faces Saya Kamatani in a rematch. And we get to see just how much Mina has grown from her early days of being the sexy girl to being the beautiful Mina Shirakawa. Ah, the wrestler. 
and Sayaka Matani, the golden phoenix, she who lost her wings and filled with doubt that she would ever fly again. She who is filled with that much passion, that emotional warrior fighting to defend her belt from destiny itself and Mina like shut up to the knees, the knees. Mina's figure four is the game changer in Mina's wrestling and Saya like Ah. 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 The systematic destruction of Saya's legs by Mina Shirakawa, and all Saya can do is attack the thing people attached to Mina for years. Who boobas? Not the boobas. Mina like, attack the boobas, girl. I don't care. Saya like, no, no, no. Mina like, shut up. Despite her damaged knee, Saya doing what she always does. Fight with passion, but Mina with her new style to lead back to the knees, making Saya go like. Sora crush her down, and Saya starts to gain faith in herself. Can she do it? Can she land the Phoenix Splash and regain her wings? Can she do it? No, she can't. She can't bring herself to fly anymore. The Phoenix, still with PTSD, having a panic attack. So Mina Tanahashi, after the leg again, and punishes Saya. She knows she messed up bad. Saya no Icarus. She's too doubtful of even reaching the sun. So Mina builds momentum, her newfound finesse and wrestling skills shining with a mix of her old moves, who old DDT, who old finisher even, building and building her momentum, just like her own story arc, constant building building and falling, building and falling, rising to a star worth holding the wonder of stardom to surpass the woman who elevated this belt into the upper echelon. Mina has to fight just that much harder than 15 other wrestlers had before, including herself. But Saya, with the war of a phoenix, she has no choice. She has to fight through the doubt. The white belt demands it, woman. It needs your tears up top to find her wings. Oh my god. One, two, Mina kicks out. Saya can't believe it. She can't believe it. She poured her heart out, gave in completely, and defeated her doubt, only to be rewarded with pain. How can the belt be so cruel? Because that belt of yours has chosen a new master, Kamatani, it has deceived you. So Saya like, Screw it. Goes for the Firebird Splash instead, but Mina loses it. She loses it like, fuck you. How dare you try to beat me, you little deceiver. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. And Super DDT kills her. And Mina losing it again like, fuck you. You deceiver. Glamorous pin. No. Saya kick. Mina into Gurry. Saya like. But Mina back and locks into the figure four. Saya fighting and fighting with all the spirit that made her the white belt champion after pouring her life into it. And she saves herself and she will not quit the white belt. That is her heart. Mina will have to kill her. So Mina does with the glamorous driver. One, two, Saya kicks out. The champion spirit. So Mina whipped one more into the air, building anticipation, crossed the legs into a career defining glamorous driver. <laughs> Mina has done it. She has won. She has won the wondrous stardom championship from the legendary reign of Saya Kamatani. With this win, Mina has finished her arc. She has grown from the hot girl to the serious wrestler, to being overlooked by her heroes, to forming her own unit. Mina focused everything into herself and was rewarded by ending Kamatani's reign. Kamatani in massive tears, for she has lost the belt she put everything into. This object of emotion fled the hands of this warrior into a new one to represent. And just like Tam before, Sai hands it off in the most respectful way. The era of Mina Shirakawa as the white belt champion, one whose lineage is insanely decorated, begins now. And her hard work to fill the demands of the white belt, the emotion needed to provide it with sustenance, has only just begun. And if I can just say personally, my muse, Mina Shirakawa! 
has won the white belt. Fuck yes.